what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're going to be talking about a couple of Transformers toys that we've already discussed previously with SDCC but now we got to take a look at the weapons as well as the alt mode in some of these images. Now they are very blurry it's not really the clearest and then obviously it's got text written over top of it but this gives us a general idea of how it's going to look. Also, there is an image of the Studio Series 86 Ironhide. I'm not going to talk about that because I feel like we're going to get better images later on. So I just feel like waiting on that. But this is something that I want to focus on in this video. There's also listings for other legacy figures coming out later on. But we can see that the accessories for the Dead End look very similar to Dragstrip, but I don't think they're the same. I could be entirely wrong on that. But he does have a very nice looking robot mode for the most part. I like this image more than the previous one that we saw, except for the back of the legs and how it kind of curves down. That's kind of weird. But the alt mode looks fantastic. It's very similar to a Porsche, which I do like. It's got the classic stripe on top and then of course you can plug the guns on top it looks very nice i like the dark red color that they're using here and then we take a look at point blank and i gotta say that i'm really excited that he comes with the target master it is very different compared to the battle masters that we've seen previously this is going to be a much smaller version which it's kind of weird that okay this guy comes with the target master but crosshairs didn't which i get because you know battle masters were around but Armada Starscream doesn't come with Swindle, despite the fact that Minicon ports are still a thing at this moment with the Cybertron Metroplex, apparently, and the Bulkhead. Doesn't really make sense to me. The alt mode is very choppy, but it's very much like the retro style of some of the later Transformers that came in Generation 1. It's got the front end that kind of reminds me of Bisque. Uh, from the Transformers Robots in Disguise line. I don't know, I just see similarities with that, with the sides protruding out. It looks kind of weird to me, and then you got that big windscreen that's very flat, and then also a very different color compared to the rest of the car. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mumbling on my words, but anyways, it's a very different color, and it looks kind of weird, but uh, I think it's fine for what it is. You know, it's point blank. It's, it's all right. I would like to see how clean or how weird the back would look, because you can see the text is just written right over top of that. But uh, overall, I think it will be fine, you know? So without wait, what do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And then we'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.